So this is interesting. Um, I'm watching a live earthquake watch EQ3D live Yellowstone webcam. Then here's a cat, American Joe 444. Uh, let's let's scroll up a second and sorry, let's scroll up a second and uh, and see what's going on here. Okay, I'm not seeing anything. Let me move my camera out of the way. That way I don't have to move it out of the way when it's blocking the field of view. My field of view. Anyway, I'm not seeing anything egregious here <clears throat> involving this moderator or towards this moderator. And uh, I hear American Joe 444 pops in, says hello all. He's a moderator here. Two, K, two small quakes have hit the LA area in the last hour, 1.5 and 1.9, both in Inglewood. They're significant due to the fact that they're on the Newport Inglewood Fault, um, which is significant to the Newport Inglewood Fault statistically, but in the grand scheme of things in California, they're pretty much meaningless as. Uh, Californians that follow earthquake reporting know um, I live I live about 30 miles as the crow flies from geysers California and um, and geysers California gets uh, somewhere somewhere around a thousand quakes a week so um, so, from my perspective, reporting on all the small quakes in California is kind of just really masturbation. Um, some people have different opinions on the, the reporting of uh, insignificant seismic events um, when there's kind of an atmosphere of... Uh, of uh, fear around the whole earthquake subject and people are scared as fuck of earthquakes and ignorant people can be confused by constant reporting of small insignificant seismic events that's just my opinion and I'm not saying that it's bad to report small seismic events um, I'm just saying that um, that people come to these websites they're generally looking for large seismic events and when they see small seismic events they've been sort of trained by um, by Dutch sense among others to to think that there's an association with larger seismic events and that uh, and that the small quakes are signs of a bigger quake coming um, and I, I think that's that may be a misinterpretation of Dutch senses, <clears throat> of Dutch senses methodology and his interpretations, because, <clears throat> in my opinion, from, and I spent some time with Dutch sense. I was a moderator for him for some time, and uh, and his his opinion was that the smaller quakes on on active fault lines actually tend to lessen the severity of the larger seismic events by relieving pressure along the the uh, the slip face of the of the fault and you know I don't know that that's true but it sure sounds like it makes perfect fucking sense to me so I don't know on one hand I got issues with Dutch sense but on the other hand uh, his his opinions tend to get misinterpreted a lot and I got no issues with his science other than his plasma earth core theory his his theories about a plasma core in the center of the earth 
I, uh, I'm not convinced, but I can be convinced. That's the thing. I can be convinced of absolutely fucking anything. There's no opinion I hold that cannot be changed with a good argument. The problem is very few people make good arguments. Very few people make arguments at all. They tend to just uh, shit the bed, whine, and then fucking leave. And we're about to see that here. So American Joe says they're significant due to the fact that they're on the Newport Inglewood Fault. Now that that sounds like like we should pay attention to these because there might be uh, there might be a quake in that area. It might be significant shit going on because Newport Inglewood Fault, you know. Um, I I completely disagree. I and Stephanie says, Joe, are you self-taught like Dutch sense? And there's. Another reference to Dutch sense, um, well, a reference to Dutch sense, I, I'm not counting mine. Um, American, or do you have college, Stephanie asked. Uh, answer, uh, American Joe says, does it matter? Stephanie says, answer a question with a question. Small quakes happen in California all the time. I mean, literally all the time. There are probably three or four small quakes per second in California. I hate to break that to you folks. Um, my husband is a scientist and took years of study. American Joe, wow. With that kind of answer, you fail to understand what happens with plates, faults, and pressure. So here's a guy that's asked what his qualifications are. Actually, he wasn't even asked what his qualifications were. He was asked if he was self-taught or if he has college. So there's nobody asking him uh, what degrees he has. Uh, nobody asking him uh, his field of specialty, his major, whatever like this, you know. Um, and he's, he's defensive right off the bat. And that makes me wonder because someone that is firm in their, in their education, someone that knows their information and their opinions are based on um, informed sources and sources that can be confirmed uh, by the the simple test of repeatability um, is is what the sources claim repeatable right it's very 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 fucking simple to tell when somebody's bullshitting you and and generally a fucking degree from a college in sciences is a pretty sure indicator that you're not be having smoke blown up your ass by someone that learned from someone that was blowing smoke up their ass. So YouTube is a chain of smoke blowing, kids. I'm gonna fucking tell you that right now. So this is my response. It only matters if you know what you're talking about. So I'm 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 affirming. I'm affirming American Joe's statement. It only matters what you're talking about. It only matters if you know what you're talking about. That's absolutely fucking true. A degree in geophysics goes a long way to show you know the material, though. Just saying. Uh, Dutch Sense refers to himself as a geophysicist. But, yeah, I think he spent, like, two years of social studies or some shit in science. I don't know. And here's my comment about American Joe's comment, because I got a little fucking pissed here. And denigrating the knowledge of others says more about the denigrator than anything else. This shit is really against the YouTube TOS. Um, when someone asks you a simple fucking direct question, and then you respond by insulting that person, that's fucking harassment. That's against the TOS. I could flag this stream for hate speech right now. Right now. And apparently... This is small fucking change compared to some of the abuse that goes on on this channel. And I, I'm just hearing about this, and I'm just looking into it, and I've literally spent three minutes, not even three, I spent three, as soon as I clicked on the fucking stream, I saw this exchange. So you could say I, I'd spent like a second at this fucking site today, and this is what I found. Of course, I've been rehashing this shit for a while, going over it, trying to fucking, trying to parse out what's really going on. Uh, American Joe. Small quakes matter. 
the motherfucker just said small quakes matter. Now, if you understand the socio-political context of appending matter onto anything, then that's gonna that's gonna probably piss you the fuck off, because bringing uh, bringing the 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 vast disparity that a racially fucking uh, a racial a racially toned word like matter into uh, what is essentially a geophysics debate is fucking disgusting. Small quakes matter when they are on a major fault. He's not telling us why small quakes matter. He's just saying, yeah, I'm right, fuck you. What's so difficult to understand about that? Well, you're not telling us why they matter, so how can we possibly understand it? Ooh, a mod fight. How spicy. So, and, and I'm telling you right now, this is this is to the channel owner, right? This is to a gentleman. Uh, I'm, I'm speaking now to the Earth Master. All right? If any of these people that are shown responding to American Joe's comments or anyone in this chat that I'm showing other than American Joe is censored or censured in any way, that's going to be another harassment flag. You don't want to push me, dude. I'm fucking watching. American Joe says he's not fighting with anyone. Stephanie says, me fight? Nope. Just don't like the fear he tries to spin. Well, that's a reasonable thing. Well, it sure ain't a case of mod love, just saying. Eh, Crucify Robin Hood, he's a fucking smartass. American Joe says... In fact, I'm tired of the constant badgering. Now, we just watched him badger someone for asking him basically where he went to school, right? And his response was to tell someone that they don't understand Kratons, right? Um, which is which is a personal insult. It's It's a personal attack, you know? Now, I don't know this Stephanie person, but uh, it's very likely she belongs to what YouTube calls a protected class. So, you know, that's the thing. It's kind of like concealed carry. When everyone is allowed to conceal carry, then you never know who's going to shoot back at you when you start sniping at motherfuckers. And when everyone is allowed to become a protected class, then you never know when you're sniping at someone, you never know if they're going to fucking hit you up with the harassment fucking report and, um, and get you booted off the fucking platform. So just words to think about, things to cogitate on um, before your next bout of ass-fucking. Badgering? Just asked you, ed your education is all. I actually hadn't even seen that comment until just now. Um, because I, I'm doing like 19 other things at the same time. I really have little time in my life for earthquake chat fucking drama. But really, the, some of this shit is starting to get out of hand. I brought up some information, some important information that matters, but some here do not care. Again, he's still not telling us why it matters. And he's crying because no one gave him the appreciation that he was looking for, and he says he's going to be back later. And for some reason, I don't get fucking timestamps on my computer anymore. So I can't tell you how long ago that was. Um, it was a couple hours ago. It was like maybe, fuck, maybe three hours ago. Like hiding thumbs down, chicken stuff move showing a tender ego... Right? No count. No like count, no dislike count. Chicken stuff move showing a tender ego, just like getting mad about a legit question. Ammer Joe, do you question the qualification of those who comment about science elsewhere? I think that's a valid question. Can't do anything about it, Stephanie says. 
Or do you seriously think everyone who claims knowledge has it just because they say so or have a wrench? Oh, running off to send an email now? Um, he, he may not be. That's entirely speculation. But my sense is that he is immediately running to the fucking channel owner. And and if you th if if it seems like I've got a hard on for the channel owner, it's because I do. Um, this is a guy that that wrenched me. Actually, I was like the second wrench that he fucking promoted in his fucking in his stream back when he was the cod master which was funny because i always thought of him as the cod peace master but it was for cod i think uh call of duty or some shit i don't know i'm not a fucking nine-year-old so stephanie says i'm not just tired of this fear mongering i'm not the only one who noticed it I would not say you're a bad girl asking someone's education. I, I hate that I'm fucking reading through comments right now on a fucking live stream, especially an earthquake live stream. It's fucking disgusting. But uh, Super Storm King says, you're awesome. Because there are some fucking awesome moderators in this, in this stream. And I'm telling you, this channel would take off if the chat was not so fucking just arrogant arrogant and apparently there's a couple new moderators in here that are uh, that are particularly arrogant arrogant badgers then complains about badgering reported so and screenshot just to let you know that clearing the comments or fucking spamming them so that uh, so that the relevant information disappears is not going to help I'm a high school graduate, 10th grade dropout, complete doofus. Yeah, okay. So this is just, uh, we're just rubbing each other's no-nos here. From, from basically from here on. But scroll down all this way. Keep scrolling, keep scrolling. And there's only 12 people in this chat. But 13 now, okay. So there's not a lot of comments being made. So that, even without timestamps, that long string of comments is going to indicate that... Um, that it's been some time since American Joe 444 uh, got bent and through the BBL, you know. Um, so, anyway, it's like that. And, uh, and, you know, and the thing is, I, I'm not, I wasn't born an asshole, and I'm not an intentional asshole. You know, assholery is like greatness. You know, you're not born to it. It's thrust upon you. And there is some fucking great assholery being thrust in this fucking particular YouTube universe. So, anyway, that's it for this. I'm going to stir up just a fucking wasp nest of shit when I hit publish on this but fuck it <laughs>